Hello guys, this is Alex from the Masters of Ultrason channel and today I'm here to review the new Mindrai TD Air. Let's go! So we will start with the outside. Here you can see the protective case and inside the probe. This is one of the three probes Mindrai has released, the face array, for specially designed for cardiac exam. Here you can see it's very lightweight and it's magnetically attached to the case. It has soft edges and an ergonomic design. You can also see here the two physical buttons, one for powering on and off and another one is a multifunction button and two light indicators, one for wireless connection and the other one for uh, battery status. Here you can see the probe footprint, the size, the notch and here the charging port with the technical specs. The battery lasted for more than three hours but not continuously scanning. It is interesting to know that it is uh, water resistant. And it is also very interesting the weight, which is 200 grams. The protective case weight is also 445 grams and both combined are 645 grams. And now let's move to the inside. Let's see the boot up process. So just pressing the power button for a few seconds and you can see the light indicator below. Now that it's flashing, we can connect wirelessly to the phone, to the app. Here we press connect and it will ask us to pair both devices. And after a few seconds, it is ready to scan. Here you can see the clips, personal long axis B mode of the heart, very good image quality. Uh, one of the best color dopplers I have seen in portable handheld devices. Here is an M mode of the Metro valve. And here is a parasternal short axis at the aortic valve level. Here you can see this is a tricuspid valve and a little bit of an artifact. This is at the mitral valve leaflets. Here at the papillary muscles, same short axis. Here you can see a super sternal notch view, the B mode, seeing the, the aortic arc and the super aortic trunks here with the color doppler. And here an apical four chamber. Now the optimal view, the right ventricle is not entirely seen and here both atrium are not entirely seen. But you can see that the image quality is really good. Here again, the color doppler is really good for being a portable handheld device. You can see no aortic regurgitation. And here you can see a full sweep Doppler at the mitral valve level, seeing the E wave. Here a tissue Doppler at the lateral mitral ring with the different waves. Here a subcostal mode image. Again with a color doppler, really sharp image with the color doppler in my humble opinion. Both tricuspid valve and mitral valve. And here an abdominal transverse, uh, so you can see the liver and the inferior vena cava and the uh, pulsatile aorta at the right, colored in red. Not because of arterial blood, but because of the flow. Here you can see a quick uh, abdominal transverse fanning, so you can see the, the suprapatic veins and the portal veins. Here you can see the collapse of the inferior vena cava in inspiration. And here you can see the inferior vena cava draining blood to the right atrium. Here with the color doppler, the suprapatic vein as well. And here you can see a pulse with doppler at the inferior vena cava. I forgot to include the pulse with doppler at the portal vein and suprabatic veins so, so you could be able to see the vexus exam here is a pulse wave doppler at the abdominal aorta and here you can see the renal arteries emerging from the aorta you can see here at the left the different exam modes that and the imaging modes that the, this device has b mode color doppler pulse wave doppler tissue doppler Mm, power Doppler 
uh, mo <laughs> you can see uh, that the uh, sliding the fingers up and down you adjust depth and right and left you adjust the gain I forgot to mention that this device doesn't have continuous Doppler yet hopefully soon and again more abd abdominal transverse to see the color Doppler and on the superior mesenteric artery and aorta and here with the both renal arteries emerging from the aorta and renal veins going to the inferior vena cava at the left Same uh, for a, a quick ab abdominal transverse fanning to see the kidney at the bottom of the image, well, at the center bottom of the image. And here is a, from the la a lateral view of the kidney as well. Here you can see the splenorenal pouch. And here you can see the urinary bladder in a B mode image. Here, a uh, lung without B lines, these are just A lines which are artifacts. And I also wanted to include this carotid long axis, even though this device is not designed to take these shallow images because of the technical requirements of the frequency of the probe. I mean, the image quality is not terrible, but this is just a pitfall of a dedicated probe that you can just not scan the entire body with the same probe. And now I wanted to show you two different clinical scenarios with permissions from patients. This first one is a mitral valve cord rupture causing mitral regurgitation and you can see the color doppler of the apical four chamber and here in the parsternal long axis um, showing the regurgitation jet. Here is a comparison with a healthy patient that didn't have this uh, mitral valve prolapse. And finally, a bedside exam after an electrophysiological study showing aortic regurgitation that confirmed a clinical suspicion of a patient worsening. So all in all, a very good device that in my humble opinion is among the top tier devices. It is quite expensive, costing around 5000 euros, but it comes with very high quality features that justify this price, which at the end of the day, the ones that can afford it is what they are looking for. A very good work from Mindra's end, showing the world they are competitive and have just come to join the party. And very good news for us, the final customers, because the more brands available, the more inclusive the party. So as usual, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I want to apologize for the delay in uploading this video, but Cardiology Residency is leaving me little time for my hobbies and I have been struggling balancing it all. I sincerely apologize. And hope to see you guys again really soon with more content. On to the next one, bye!